This video covers reading files. I've already posted a video about writing files. Let's start by returning an I.O. result so we can simplify our error handling. And return OK as the happy path. We'll bring in the file struct and the read trait. We need a file to read, for example, the source code to our main.rs. The most basic call is the read call into a fixed size buffer. Let's create a buffer of 32 characters and read the first 32 characters of main.rs into the buffer. We'll convert the bytes into a string, we'll then write the result out using println. Let's run the program and see what happens. There's a problem with our logic, however. It's possible for the read call to get interrupted, like we saw in the writing files video. In the interest of time, just trust me that it doesn't make sense to copy the approach I took in the writing files video to handle the interrupted case. Let's start with read to end. We'll create a vector of u8 as a buffer and read into that. We can convert that buffer into a string and print it out. If we run the program, we see that we have the rest of the main file. For our next example, we can just rewind back to the start of the file instead of reopening it. If we know we're going to read in a string, we can just use the read string method and immutable string. We can then print the file directly. If we run the program, we see the output. There is an obvious problem with functions that read an entire file into memory. Files could be terabytes in size. We'll rewind the file If we want to process a line at a time, we can use the buffered reader. Let's bring in the buffered reader type and the buffered trait. And create a buffered reader.
Next, we'll read the first three lines of the file and print them. If we run the program, we see the first three lines printed. The buffer reader can also read until we hit a specific byte. Let's create a buffer to hold the data and read to the first exclamation mark. convert it to a string and print it. Let's run the program and look at the output. Thanks again for watching. I think my next video will be about directories. If you have any topics you'd like to see covered, leave it in the comments. Subscribe if you want to find out when I publish a new video. And thanks again for watching.